um, second win in a row for you. Um, you made the transition from the bullpen to a weekend starter a few weeks ago. What, what has that transition been like for you? What's the different mentality uh, on the mound? Yeah, um, I really wouldn't say it's a different mentality in all honesty. Um, at the end of the day, um, it's about winning um, and competing my tail off um, to allow us to put us in a position to win a game. Um, so for us, um, every time I go out there, I don't know how long I'm going to be out there. It could be three, four innings, um, and then they unleash the bullpen. Um, but if I go out there, it's every single inning. I'm just trying to put up zeros to allow our offense to score runs. Yeah, um, I would say I'm probably throwing a little bit more fastballs. Um, I would say that um, I'm using more off, more uh, selective of my off-speed pitches. I'm using my slider and my changeup as much. Um, I use sliders a lot today against right-handers, which if you look against Virginia, I didn't use sliders very much. Um, so that all goes into game planning. Um, but at the end of the day, um, my fastball velo, my fastball velo may not be as high as it used to be. But I'm just trying to compete. Um, if I can locate it very well um, in the top of the zone um, and use my off-speed pitches off of that, then I'm be very competitive. Max, how good does it feel for y'all to have clinched a uh, spot in the ACC tournament? It's been a historically great year for the conference. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's a lot of really good teams in the ACC this year. Um, it's just uh, it's a really big deal to us, especially to where we started um, for ACC play and uh, being able to clinch a spot into uh, the ACC tournament um, and like. Our coach always says, once playoff time begins, all the chips are off the table. It's just you and that one team, mano a mano. So it just, it's a big uh, step for this team um, in the direction that we want to go. Do you almost feel like this weekend actually began postseason play? Yeah, I mean, it's, I'd say postseason play probably started two weeks ago for us. Um, I know, uh, like, the two weeks ago, um, Coach Lee was like, every game for us is a playoff game. So you can't be looking ahead at the Saturday or Sunday game. It's it's all about the Friday game and just taking care of business that Friday. Um, so we've kind of had that playoff game mentality for a couple of weeks now, um, and it's the same thing tomorrow. Max, for you, everything that's going on, like, do you take a second to think about the kind of year you're having and where you're at right now in Clemson or if you're going to tomorrow's game? Uh, I mean, not really. I just try to play, um, just try to compete. And again, every game is a playoff game. Uh, I mean, it's really whatever we've done the past 55 or so games, it's over. I just care about what's going to happen tomorrow. I'm just focused and determined to get in my uh, pre-game um, work in, um, BP, ground ball, stuff like that, just getting ready for that. And then obviously when game comes, just being ready for every pitch and just letting my, my game play just take care of itself. Uh, no, but uh, I mean, it's just the hard work I've been able to uh, put in pretty much ever since I got here my freshman year. Um, all the experience I've been able to take um, my freshman year has really helped me get to this point. Um, and again, I'm just still trying to keep working, trying to get better, and just trying to get this team in the right direction. Did, you, did that one feel like you got all of it? Uh, I mean, I knew I hit it well, but uh, it's just I've been trying to work on my swing, just trying to get my momentum going forward, and I was able to do that today opposed to yesterday where I didn't feel like I was doing that quite as much as I wanted to, um, but I was definitely barreling up the ball like I wanted to today. You're the one behind Texas' is Ivan Melendez for the national home run lead. Do you even keep half an eye on, on what he's doing? Is that people, are people in your ear about that? How do you put that out of your mind? Yeah, I mean, I, I see the list pretty much every week, but, I mean, it's – I really don't care. It's just I'm just trying to – get the team in the right direction, um, just do my part and try to put good at-bats together and uh, good defense. I know pitching will do their job to help us and uh, put our offense in the right situation. That's pretty much all I'm really thinking about. In all, you were coming up before you got here in all the showcases you played. Did you ever come across, did you ever cross paths with him just because of the national profile you guys would have? No, not at all. I, I've never talked to him, never been to a showcase. Um, with them or anything like that. Yeah, for you, uh, when did Coach approach you about becoming a starter? What was that conversation like with you? 
Yeah, he really never approached me, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> they told me basically, um, I think it was probably four weeks ago, um, the position that we were in um, after that game, I think it was game one. Um, I really, to be honest with you, can't remember if we won or lost. But after that game, he basically said, hey, you didn't throw tonight. We're going to throw you tomorrow. I said, OK. And we, we went, went, went down to work. So um, at, at the end of the day, I don't really think uh, the whole approachment matters. Um, he gave me an opportunity, um, and I knew it was a, a needed opportunity for us to win baseball games to get in the postseason. And so at the end of the day, all I was focused on was trying to get us into the postseason um, and winning baseball games at that point. How big was that for you for them to come to you and say, hey, we're going to throw you tomorrow, and if this works, you're going to stay in this role? What does that mean to you to be in that position? Yeah, I really didn't know if I was going to stay in the role, to be honest with you. Um, but I've thrown a lot. Of, I've thrown a lot of big innings and a lot of big situations here. Um, so that pressure was never there. Um, I just rode with the pressure of I didn't know if I was going to be out there one or two innings. But uh, if I was out there for two innings, I was going to throw up zeros for two innings. If I was out there for three, and we just kept rolling with it. So at the end of the day, um, the pressure has never really gotten to me because I've been in those big situations um, since I've been a freshman here. Um, it's just been rolling with the punches um, and, and kind of learning routine and stuff like that week by week has been the biggest adjustments since I've been a starter. Jeffrey, uh, freshman Rick Garris behind the plate today, uh, his first start. Uh, I'm guessing you know he catches you a lot in the bullpen and so forth. But what's your chemistry with him like, and uh, how was he at your pitches and that sort of thing? Yeah, Reed did an excellent job. Um, just a little backstory: Reed pretty much caught me since I was a senior in high school, um, going back down to Charleston um, and working out freshman and sophomore year. He caught all my off-season bullpens and stuff. So. I've known Reed since I was probably 10, 11 years old. So it was really cool for us to be out there today in all realness. It gives me goosebumps talking about it because um, that's what you dream of when you come to school like this. Um, and him obviously working, being the third string catcher now um, and getting a shot to be out there today and him catching me, um, it was awesome. We just smiled at each other and we were having fun out there. It just kind of reminded us of youth baseball. So um, he did an excellent job though. Um, he's. I think just as good, and this is not a knock on John or Cooper, but I think he's just as good defensively as John and Cooper. Um, there's no fall off there. So he did an excellent job, and I think um, for however long he's out there for the remainder of the season, he'll continue to be an excellent job and do a, be a good catcher. Max, you may be able to answer this more from the position of player mindset, but can you appreciate that you know, yesterday began Reed is just kind of in sub-catcher mode. You know, yeah. to see that happening, and now he's the guy. I mean, can you imagine, why don't you go first? world changing 180 degrees in that time yeah I mean it's I mean I feel like everybody has gone through it where you're sitting on the bench and all of a sudden the guy goes down or he's not being product as productive as coaches want him so they call your name and you got to be ready that's why in the fall we go through all the practices the tiger BPs inner squads all that stuff that's really taxing especially for an incoming freshman where they're probably not uh, used to that kind of stuff but I just feel like, especially Reed with how determined he is, um, he just, he's been ready for his opportunity. You know, he, he catches almost everybody's bullpens. He's always um, there for everybody, but especially pitchers. I know that. Um, he's always, he'll text in our group chat, like, hey, if anybody wants me to catch them today, like, I'm there for you, whatever. So he, he's, he's definitely got the reps, um, and he definitely deserves this opportunity that he's gotten. The fact that he, again, the game's already begun, and he gets Yeah, he looked me dead in the eyes and said, well, here we go. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I knew he was ready for it. Um, <laughs> he's one of those dudes that he, he works his tail off. He's always prepared for whatever outcome. Um, yeah, and so he was just like, well, here we go. I mean, he, I think last week and one day he caught five bullpens. So, I mean, that tells you the work that he puts in. He's probably one of the most selfless guys on our team, um, but also one of the hardest workers. So um, for him, he was ready, and I, and I knew it. So. Anything else? Thank you. Guys. Thank you.